I've been racking my brain for a couple weeks on what to make my wife for our 10 year wedding anniversary. The material is tin. You know how, I didn't know this, but different years have different materials. What if I made the vase that the flowers go in? All right, so just to see if my proof of concept was gonna work, I'm using some cardboard to prototype this. And here's my design. No, I'm not making a throwing star. It's kind of what it looks like. But these ends fold up like this. And then I would sew these, these corners together, kind of pull them together. I just didn't want a box, right? So I created these kind of little things here. So these angles are at 45s right now, and they just meet up and create a lid. Not really what I was going for. I was kind of going for a tapered look like this, but I think we're onto something. All right, I've got my second prototype here. So something like that. So it's at an angle. So although I used the Glowforge laser to cut my prototypes, it's not going to cut through this aluminum sheet. First step is, is I'm gonna run a couple tests and see what the laser actually does on this aluminum. One of the problems that uh, with materials like this is that they're shiny. That doesn't do well with the laser. So what I'm gonna try, I just ripped out a piece of notebook paper. And so we're gonna see if we can just get any kind of marking on here to use as a guide. I've got a couple ideas if this doesn't work, we're gonna start here. Nothing. The laser's not gonna be any help um, when it comes to this aluminum. So we're gonna pivot from that and we are going to use the CNC's. All right, a little bit of change of plans. I went and got this bigger piece of uh, tin. We're gonna call it tin. It's actually aluminum. Shh, don't tell anybody. With this one, we're gonna be able to go 24 inches, make it much bigger, much better. Well, this is less than perfect. So the reason it's all crinkled up and everything, this double-sided tape would not let it go on the CNC bit. So it actually looks like what I was going for. This is by far uh, one of the oddest ideas I've had, stitching metal together. Um, but honestly, I mean, it's something functional. Next step though, is to try to make at least the bottom half of this somewhat waterproof so we can put some water in it to keep the flowers alive. Um, I'm gonna be using this, this silicone That's not good. Good thing we've got some more silicone. Aww, look at these. So what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what? They're beautiful. I made the vase myself. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> it's sticky. <laughs> it's sticky. Yeah, I feel it in there. A little silicone. <laughs> little silicone never hurt anybody. So there you have it. She likes the effort. Not sure about the vase yet, but she likes the effort. That's all that matters. I've built her a lot nicer things in the past. One of those things 
is her favorite is walnut and black epoxy. If you're interested in seeing that project, I built this end table in this video right here. You can check that out and I will see you in that video.